Good evening, Dark Sizzle Nation, and welcome to Dark Sizzle Offshore. In today's epic video, Darcy and I are going crabbing. We're going to show you how to catch the crabs, Darcy's going to show you how to cook the crabs, and I'm going to show you how to clean the crabs and eat the crabs for a delicious stone crab appetizer. They're so powerful. Just got to be really careful handling these crabs. They have a crushing force of 19,000 pounds per square inch. So we're gonna take our big claw right here. And it's pretty simple. You're not allowed to take their bodies. So don't ask why I'm throwing back the body. But we just broke that off nice and clean. And now that's gonna go in the grizzly and we're gonna release this crab. And we're just gonna take care of the last one in there and then finish checking our traps today and see how many we get for our catch and cook tonight. And I'm really excited because these are delicious. Let go. Nice job, Dark Sizzle. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, that's Darcy, of course, also known as Dark Sizzle. I'm Brian. We're a fishing couple, and we quit our jobs, I don't know, two or three years ago, so we could follow our dreams fishing and hopefully inspire some of you guys to do the same. And as Darcy said, we're, doing a, we're gonna do a nice catch and cook today. Now, we've done a lot of catching videos, okay? And I'm gonna put some of those linked up here, how to, right from building the traps, where to get the traps, where to put them and everything else. But today we're gonna to focus on the cooking and Darcy has some tricks that she's learned over the last two or three years yes. to really cook them up nice. So uh, that's gonna be exciting. Ah, let's just uh, measure this one and then get our trap back, right? Next All right, let's measure them and get these crabs back in. Just by quick standard disclaimer, now these are stone crabs. They're not blue claw crabs like you guys up north are used to, okay? So you only keep the claws. And by law here in Florida, you're allowed to keep both claws. We only keep one, okay? So you break them off, you throw the body back in the, in the water, and that's how it works. Don't yell at me in comments about ripping off arms, all right? Yes. We get They've done studies on this, guys. They know that the crabs can survive without their claws. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. So they become scavengers. But anyway, check all that. Uh, in, in Florida, it's my dough. In Florida, it's myfwc.com. But always check the regulations where you live. All right, let's get some more crabs. Giant jackhead. Going in the trap. Catch me some traps. Catch me some crabs. Okay, I feel here a lot of stuff going on in this trap. Let's find out what we got. We got lots of goodies. Sailor's like it's loaded. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! They're getting me all dirty. All right, let's get rid of the stinky catfish. One. Okay, we got five beautiful crabs in here. Check it out, guys. Look at the stud claws on this dude. Stone crab trap squat. <laughs> Done checking all of our traps. We got approximately 12 claws with the ones we started on earlier and then here wrapping up the day. And first step, now that we've harvested our claws, what do you do? Well, you put them in your grizzly cooler. This is our 40 quart cooler. We actually store them, not directly on the ice. You want to put them right in a little tray, just like so, next to the ice, not on the ice because you don't want to do that because of the fact that the meat will actually end up sticking to the insides of the shell and you don't want that when you're eating them. So the proper storage method is like this, and the commercial guys actually cook them out on the water before they even bring them back to the dock. So that's how we do it as a recreational fisherman. Back at the house, we got our delicious stone crab claws with us. So the next step that I like to do, and this is totally optional, but since these guys live on the bottom, they're actually covered in dirt, just really fine dirt that collects all in their little crevices, like here in the corners and whatnot, and just everywhere. So what I like to do is I get the sink running, I instantly get a bottle brush, and I like to use stiff bottle brushes. I actually bought like an assortment on Amazon for pretty cheap, and I love them. They're awesome. I use them for everything, including cleaning claws. And I just basically run it over the water and clean it off pretty good. It can get the fine dirt right off, no problem. And the crazy thing is too that this guy is actually moving in the water, just the the actual, I guess, memory of the muscles moving, which is pretty crazy. But if you're interested in any of the things that I use, including like the bottle brushes for cooking, there's a cooking category in my Amazon store as well as the fishing stuff and everything else that I like to use. So check it out, it's down in the description below. And then once I hit all the corners here, this guy is good to go and ready to cook. So now I'm gonna do that with the rest of the dozen we've got, and then we're gonna cook them up. Well, Darcy's Sizzle's finishing that up. This is actually one of the things I don't cook. This is kind of like Darcy's specialty. I'll tell you what else we got going on here. We got all prepared. We got some land sharks. We got a big bowl of ice water. See what that's for later. We're boiling some water. 
and we got some white white distilled vinegar. So as soon as she's done with that, we'll show you how to cook them. Just finished the last crab claw. They're all clean. I just rather not have dirt all over them when you're cracking them open to eat them. Now what I'm going to do is just separate the sizes. So these are like keeper size right here. And then we got the large ones and then we'll cook the bigger ones together and the smaller ones together. So cook them by size basically. Now the water is fully boiling in my pot. The secret to success here is white distilled vinegar that you can find at your local grocery store. And the reason for this, I don't know why, but it works. I like to put it in right when it comes to the boil. Just a little bit. I'm not even like measuring it. Just put a good amount in there. I don't know, two tablespoons or so. And that will get mixed in with the meat. And that's the, that's the actual secret and the success to making sure that the meat comes off the shell of the stone crab when you eat it. Let me explain a little more fully. <laughs> the, the meat does not stick to the inside of the shell. Right. If you guys have had crabs, sometimes the, the meat sticks. So a lot of this process is to prevent that. You don't let them touch the ice. You use the vinegar, okay? All this is gonna give you delicious crabs that don't stick to the inside of the shell so you can't get the crab meat out so you can't eat the crabs. Yes, and I we've been doing this stone crab trapping for like two years now and I've cooked hundreds of claws and I would just let you know that I've messed this up before, so I know. <laughs> That's what we're doing this for you. Once the water comes back to a complete boil after adding your white distilled vinegar, it's time to add the crab claws. And with this, I'm gonna do the smaller size first. I like to start with the small and then work up. So basically, I'm just gonna drop them in. There we go. Now that I've dropped the temperature of the water, it's not boiling as much, but we're gonna wait for that temperature to come back up, let it boil, and approximately it should be in boiling water for three to four minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer. All right, time to take them out. Yep. This is my job. So basically I just got some tongs, I'm gonna take them out. Now the next trick here is we're gonna put them, like I showed you before, yeah. a big, big bowl of ice water. Yeah. And why is that? Because that is gonna stop them from cooking which of course is gonna stop them from being overcooked, which in turn stops what? The meat from sticking to the... No, the meat from sticking to the shell. <laughs> Cooking for... I said that part already. I All know. Right, so we're gonna put these in here, and then we're just gonna let them come back to a boil and put the big ones in. I think I got them all. Six. Six, Six? I we missed one. Three. I was close. <laughs> You can see the difference in the size, but that's a totally illegal claw there, which is big. And then compared to this guy, it's teeny. That would be considered a large claw in a restaurant or a store. So I'm just gonna go big ones, drop it in first, and then just working it down by size. Same thing, four minutes. To put in, this is like a big pain in the butt to me. Like all this getting the traps, checking the traps. That's why he doesn't she do it. She loves it, and I, I'm like, I don't wanna do it. But then I love to eat the claws. So the cooking is very important because you want to do all that work and then not be able to get your claw meat out of a claw properly. Mm -hmm. All right, now we got a system. We're going to take the smaller crab's claws out and leave the big ones in there for another minute. Yes. Now you let them sit in this ice bath for about 10 minutes and they'll be all set, ready to go. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, which is the eating. You just gotta wait 10 minutes. I know, I heard you, I was right here. I was holding the camera. <laughs> We're gonna make some, uh, draw some butter or melt some butter. And I you often have them without even butter. And then I'm gonna show you how I crack them. Very special technique. And we also got a special dressing. <gasps> dip, yeah. crab dip. Stay tuned. All right, time to eat. And we're gonna show you a couple of little things to uh, help the process move along. First is the dipping. I don't really dip them, dip them in anything usually, but we have this mustard sauce. From the grocery store, I'm sure you can make your own too. It's delicious. And of course, the old standard is a little melted butter. Drawn butter. Drawn butter, as whatever they say. Fancy. You could also have one of these mallets. I also bought this uh, metal mallet online on Amazon, which is pretty sweet as well. And you can use Amazon, Darcy's Amazon link, of course. Yes. And if you want, if you've got a little crevices, we got these little forks. Now. That being said, I don't use any of that stuff. I just use your standard old butter knife yep. and you give it a couple of wax, all right? Now, let me show you my tried and true method and you guys may have a different method, but this is what works for me. 
and uh, hopefully this will help you with some of your stumbling blocks even eating clothes because a lot of people they don't want to they don't know how to clean them so they don't want to catch them right right they don't want to waste time and you don't need to go out and spend money on these tools either because you technically don't even need them no watch this watch this it's really cool <laughs> it's not that cool anyway all right so let me find a nice crab in here i like to crack them as little as possible and i've found a couple things that you can do now you see the crab has a claw and it's got two knuckles these knuckles are delicious okay oh so you can oftentimes break this knuckle off. So I got this off already. A lot of times a big piece of meat will come out of right here. Not right now, of course. And you can also break off this claw, this top one, just like that. And so that, that was what Darcy makes her necklaces out of. And yes. you can buy those on the website, but you got that off now too, all right? So now you're gonna take your paper towel and you're gonna cover your claw so you don't make a big mess. Right, so first I'll do this little claw here. And this one hit it once. You want to hit it 10 times, otherwise you're gonna make a bunch of little pieces. So I'm gonna hit it right here, but of course I'm gonna cover it so it doesn't make a big mess. Nice little whack, all right? Now this should break right open. Now, you know, it doesn't work perfectly every single time, but this one worked pretty good. Now look, I got this big piece here. That is a big, delicious piece of crab meat. Just make sure there's no shells on it, and I can pop that right in my mouth. Delicious, okay? Now, I got the rest of this. I'm gonna hit this three times. Once right here on the other knuckle, once right here, and then once right here. Here we go. And I'm gonna put it this side up, like the side, if it would normally fold like this, so I'm gonna open it like this. So, you got this. One there, one there, and one there. All right, now this knuckle comes right off. So you got a big thing of meat there. Yummy. And this came across pretty good. Look at that, very nice, right? Not too many little pieces, because I didn't hit it 10 times. Now in here, there's a big piece of cartilage in the middle. You can do one of two things. You can eat it like a chicken wing, and pull it off like this, or you can pull it off with your hands. I'll just show you with my hands. Now you see how easy that came off? That's because of all the steps we did and we showed you how. Now this is a big old chunk of crab. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. A little teeny shell in there, but that's crabs. That's what happens. You get a little shell once in a while. Delicious. Pretty cool little method there, Brian. I'm actually gonna do that with my crab claws now, but we actually have a catch and cook on this already. So go ahead and check that out where we have like 40 or 50 crab claws with us and we have a giant feast. And this was back in the day when my father was still here and my brother. So check that out. And yeah, once again, these are in my uh, store as well. The Amazon store is completely separate from the crab claws, but this is on my personal website, darcyslawshore.com. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>